Hello everyone, it is Mike here and welcome to another tournament. This is our final one of the first round. Riz versus Judd. It is going to be great. If you all don't know, Judd is our champion right now. He has not been beat. His team has not been beat. They won the first tournament and uh, they're a very good team. They're a very unorthodox team. And we're kicking things off with Aaron Yeager here. Which can be devastating, but he's number one. So that's not a good sign. Um, he's definitely one of the best on his team. Let me get this headset adjusted. But, um... Yeah, being at number one is never good. It doesn't matter who you are, but we'll see how far he can go. Because he can destroy people. That's for sure. And you're going to see a lot of anime characters again on this one. Because that account was filled with them. And now we have Mr. Pringles. That is right, Mr. Pringles. Which is one of Judd's worst people, for sure. Um... Tell me what your favorite Pringles are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's definitely the salt and vinegar for me. I think they have the best salt and vinegar chips ever. So they, uh, The original ones are good. I think the sour cream are a little bit overrated. But uh, the uh, originals are good and the, the, uh, the salt and vinegar are the best. I, cannot, I can't even buy those anymore because I'll eat the whole tub in one setting. Cause, so I, I just stopped buying them. Um, <laughs> that's so much for a sponsorship. Uh, but yeah, it's the truth. I had to because they're addicting. And uh, but yeah, w w Riz is coming in with his team, and we'll see if they can take down the champion. Uh, we've seen champions go down in the first round. Uh, we've also seen one person in particular win two in a row, and almost win three in a row. Uh, so anything can happen. We don't know how far Judd's going to make it, but his team did um, manage to win four times. So it, it's a, any team that can win a tournament is a good team. Um, because to win four times, the odds are never in your favor. So you got good luck with 2K. You have a good team overall. And we got Red Ranger at number four. So Red Ranger at four here. And uh, the champion team always goes last. So unfortunately for Riz, he's, he, he was 15 on the list. So he has to take on the champ. Um, but we got Harvey Dent in the house, Two-Face. I like this version of Two-Face. I also like the Aaron Eckert version, probably the best. But this version's awesome too. I, I do not like the Tommy Lee Jones crap version of Two-Face. And number five is John Marston. And fun fact about John Marston, he was the last one picked in the tournament. He was the very last draft pick, so uh, we'll see how far he can go. And Oh, yeah. Yeah, so much for that one. He was trying to get an elimination on Harvey Dent, and that did not pay off. And, uh-oh. Harvey's, wow, he's making it. He's surviving. Good counters there. And a good start for him. And we'll see who's coming in next. And it is Monokuma. Monokuma at number six. A uh, anime character. I have a Funko Pop of Monokuma. And I, I really think it's a cool design for a character. And number seven is Doctor Strange. Coming in at seven. And he's definitely a uh, force to reckon with. He's had some really good tournaments. And this is the same one, I believe, that the, that, that has that reputation of... Uh, it, it's, it's, he's usually like the first Strange that is created. And uh, he has always had a reputation 
uh, with being really good on here despite you don't expect it because you always expect the big guy to be the best and uh, we'll see how far Aaron can go and Agent 47 is number 8 and I actually used the exact one that Judd had um, I purposely got him he's not my favorite of what all they have even though he is a good one uh, I do have one that I like a little bit better but I, I had to use this one because I know for sure it's him and uh, John Marston survives because of 2K stupidity mechanics uh, that's the reason why he's still alive and uh, yeah no eliminations yet should have been but uh, none yet and there we go Red Ranger the first one so that's going to be a loss for Judd and Monokuma barely survives almost got eliminated by Agent 47 and look at Mr. Pringles here Monokuma going after Strange. Strange is in trouble. Uh, where is he? Nah, he's still alive. Wow. And uh, 47 now in trouble. But, I mean, we've only had one loss so far. Usually, I mean, the last one I think we did, it was one in the first 10 seconds. So, you never know what you're going to get. Number nine is Spongebob. One of my least favorites. Monokuma and Mr. Pringles done. Wow. They flew out of here. And that's two losses for Judd. And we lost another person. As soon as I look away, we always lose people. Uh, Monokuma and Mr. Pringles, both a loss. I thought there was somebody else. Maybe I saw something out of the corner of my eye that did not happen, but... Because sometimes I see things now. Uh, but I'm going to look for it because I don't want to miss it. Um, if he comes across the other side. May, uh, yeah, I, I knew I didn't see something. Um, so that's a loss for Riz, that Harvey one. But uh, Mr. Pringles and Monokuma. Uh, both a loss for Judd. So not a great start for Judd here. And Strange... Going after the sponge here. And double team. Please get rid of him. Please. I do not like him. Okay, I just don't like him. And Aaron going after 47 here. And 10 is Alucard. One of my favorites. I love the 18 version that we had. It's always going to be my favorite, the 18 version. I don't know if that version was as accurate as this one, though. But uh, that's always going to be one of my favorites of all time. Uh, 18 had some of the best uh, that we've ever seen. Uh, whether it be, I mean, that was the arrival of... No, I think 17 was the arrival of Thomas the Tank. That was crazy. That was a crazy one. I remember that one, and some of those are just... They'll never... They'll always be in my memory bank forever. And number 11 is Guts. My boy Guts. Guts is such a cool name. So yeah, pretty crazy start here. Um, four already gone. And Riz is actually winning right now. But it's far from over. We still have a long ways to go. And Marston's done. And that's a loss for Riz. That was easy to find because I knew he was the last one picked. And Iron Man is 12. And Doctor Strange is going to be a loss for Riz. Oh, no, no. Wrong person, Judd. He's on Judd's team. That's right. 
So yeah. So we got Guts, we got Alucard, we got 47. Uh, got all kinds of people and we got that old team. Um, we'll see if they can make it again. Iron Man is finished. And that is a giant loss for Judd. Giant. Very giant loss for Judd. Very um, heartbreaking loss for Judd because that is definitely one of his best people. And definitely has gotten him out of trouble multiple times. Uh, he's gotten Judd out of trouble. And now he's gone already. So, uh, Judd still has a couple really good weapons here. But, uh, and Cyborg is number 13. But Iron Man was definitely one of his best. And Cyborg coming in at 13 here. And you're going to see a lot of DC, a lot of anime on this one. A lot of Marvel. Um, that's, that's basically the majority of this this one. And SpongeBob's still in it. Of course, I have to deal with him. I, I, I just, I'll never like him, guys. I'm sorry. He's just not one of my favorites. I am Squidward, flesh and blood. And uh, 14 is Broly. Broly at 14. So, definitely going to be one of the best in here. Aaron Yeager's almost halfway through, which is amazing. Who started off with Aaron? I'm trying to remember. I think they're already gone. Oh, yeah, it was Mr. Pringles. He, Yeah, we knew he wasn't going to make it. Um, and Alucard, Agent 47 going after him, and Broly in Wrecking House now. And Sponge, look at the double team on Alucard. And Alucard's been eliminated. And that is a loss for Riz. And Def Trooper at 15 here. And Def Trooper can be a surprise too. He can cause a lot of problems. Um, we've seen him cause problems before. Aaron is officially at the halfway mark. So it's always fun to see one of these big guys come in at number one. Because you don't know how far they're going to go. And they can cause a lot of havoc. And Guts... Just got double slammed. And look at Broly and the Death Trooper having a little show down there, and and Guts is getting punished by Agent Forty Seven. And, who is going to leave next? And we're about to get another person in. And who is it going to be here? I, I can't really tell right now. I, I feel like Judd's team's not doing too great, but uh, it's not too bad yet. And Jeff the Killer is 16. The infamous creepy pasta. Uh, Jeff. And he's been in all every year he's here. Uh, he is always one, day one. Uh, creation day one um, and it's always good to see him uh, even though he doesn't really do well in these usually he's he doesn't have the size advantage for sure and 47 uh oh oh look at that look at that move wow death trooper oh wow a double that's hard to do that's extremely hard to do in the death trooper man He's just incredible. And, and we talked about Judd's team. They're incredible. They're a very weird team. It's a weird team. But they sometimes the weirdest teams do the best jobs. And there goes Aaron. So that's going to be a loss for Riz. And I've memorized most of Judd's team by heart. So I know who's who. And um, it's super easy for me to tell you who's who. Uh, for the most part. There's a couple that I still have to look down at, but uh, I've memorized most of the members of his team. Because I, I've seen them four times now. So, but we'll see if Riz can take out the champ. That, that has to be his primary goal. And if you take out a champion, it always looks good. It makes your team legit. And if you can take out a champion. And 
uh oh, Death Trooper getting double teamed, and Cyborg's in trouble also. And also Jeff. All oh, man, we got all kinds of stuff going on here. I bet you they all make it. Bet you they all yeah, because it was way too early. And lifting them is gonna be tougher than charging them or doing the finisher. And Colonel Sanders is 17. I am using a different one because uh, I had trouble finding the other one. I don't know how. Well, I don't know. Maybe that is the same. It's just so hard. There's so many of them. I don't know why they make so many. They're easy to make. Uh, it's not one of the hardest creations. I don't know why we get all these fast food chain people. <laughs> Jack in the Box we've had and uh, Ronald and Burger King and just everyone. It's crazy. People are thinking about food too much, I think. And uh, Broly going after Cyborg here. And wow. And uh-oh, Gut's still in. Wow. They are hanging on. And they'll be all flying out in a second. And I'll have to uh, try to keep up with my list. Which becomes very difficult when they all decide they want to leave at once. Which is usually the story of my life. And there goes 47. That's a loss for Judd. Broly going after the sponge and uh oh I think he's got this please Broly get rid of him and Guts is done wow really how does he not get rid of him and Guts is a loss for Riz like I said I've memorized him pretty good And there goes Jeff. Jeff is finished. By the way, Jeff was a loss for Riz. And there goes the sponge, finally. And that's a loss for Judd. And, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty close right now. It's actually pretty close. Um, Cyborg's done. That's going to be a loss for Riz. So, it's tied now. According to my records, which sometimes can be... Inaccurate. Um, should be seven to seven, but I could be wrong. Um, there's sometimes I, I miss one. Um, but you you all know. <laughs> someday I'll get it right. And uh, now we got Colonel and Black Mass. That's so weird. Watching them fight. <laughs> Black Mass got mad because his chicken was cold at KFC. That's that's gonna be the storyline make a whole comic book strip about it. Nightwing's here. So, we got Nightwing in the house. And Death Trooper in trouble. And somehow manages to get back in. And I'm telling you, Broly is the one to watch here. He can cause a lot of damage. And look at this. I mean, look at that. And that is a loss for Judd. So, Judd loses another one. And things are not looking good. Um, I mean, both teams are have eliminated uh, people. So both teams have been suffering in this. But look at the double team on Colonel. What a double team there. And Casey Jones is here. Uh, from the TMNT. And good counter there by Casey. But apparently he loves KFC. So he, he didn't do anything. And, oh my goodness. Number 21 is Android 16. What in the world is Colonel doing? Oh my. <laughs> He's doing some kind of... I don't know what that was. That was crazy. <laughs> some gymnastics or something, I guess. Android 16 is definitely a good one here. 
and can cause a lot of problems. And Def Trooper eliminated. That's another loss for Judd. And Android 16, man. If anybody could take out the Def Trooper, he could. And I don't know why people can't take down Colonel Sanders here. And General Zod is 22. So Zod is back again. A lot of Judd's team is Marvel and DC. He's got a couple, probably about five, that are not Marvel and DC. But for the most part, his team is uh, from both of those. And look, oh, heads butted together. Again, wow. And number 23 is this guy from, he's from an anime. It's a boxing anime. Ippo, I'll just call him Ippo. I've never watched it. I've heard nothing but good things, though. But, uh, I couldn't even tell you the name of the show. I just know, and yeah, try to eliminate Casey, and that did not work. It, it's still pretty close here, but uh, Riz is beating the champion right now. But we've seen the champion, we've seen his back up against the wall before, and Android 16, man, is destroying anyone in his path, and that's going to be a loss for Riz, though. Uh, and Dutch is 24 from Red Dead Redemption. Dutch. I don't like Dutch. I don't think anyone does. But, uh, People definitely don't like Malachi, or whatever his name is, the blonde-haired guy. Definitely don't like him. But I believe Dutch is the leader um, in Red Dead 1 and 2. I know he is in 2. I haven't played 1 in a lifetime. That was such... Both of those games, when they came out, they were just groundbreaking. Um, Red Dead 2 is in my top 10. Easily. Um... I'm not his biggest fan on the story. I just like the gameplay. There is a moment in the story. I, I love the moment in Red Dead 2 when those guys are walking side by side and they, they're going to torch that house or whatever with that old woman in it. And Zod is a loss for Judd. That, that, that scene was crazy in that game. Uh, when they both were all, I mean, that was just brotherhood there. And uh, and Dutch is done. So Dutch is finished. That is going to be a loss for Riz. He's got two Red Dead characters. So it's very close. Hawk is 25. Wow. He's definitely one of the best in this. Uh, along with Android 16 and Broly. Who, by the way, are all on the same team, I believe. Which is crazy. Yeah, I believe they're all on the same team. Yep, they're all on the same team. That's crazy. That's a crazy team. Um, and Hawk going after... Sanders has got to be done here. He's got to be done. There's no way he has survived this long. And... Yeah, he's finally finished. And that is a loss for Judd. So Judd is down to four now. Um, and Bender is 26. It's not looking good for Judd. If you look who's all in here. I mean... I don't know. I mean, it's still really close. I believe Riz has lost 9. And Judd has lost 11. My calculations are correct. That is. And we got Mr. Freeze at 27. Oh, man. And uh, he's definitely one of the best on Team Judd. Definitely one of the best. And I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we have all kinds of big guys here. They are going to destroy each other. And Mr. F oh, if Broly gets this elimination, that'd be big. That'd be a big loss for Judd if they could take care of Freeze. Android 16. Oh, my goodness. 
another elimination, and that's for Riz's team, and that's not good, though. That was one of Riz's best people, and his people are turning on each other, but we got Bullseye here. We got Bullseye in the house. Yeah, Judd's got four left, and there goes Ippo. So that's a loss for Riz. So now Riz has four left. So it's a tie, according to what I have here. And Android 16, trying to hang in there, and he does. And we got Broly still here. Look at Broly. Broly has been a nightmare. And Black Mask is finished. And that's a loss for Judd. And 29 is Nappa. Nappa at 29 here. So Judd should have three left, and they are all here. So number 30 is definitely going to be Team Riz uh, for number 30. So he's going to get the 30th pick. Plus, he has Android 16 and Broly and a couple other ones. Uh, he's got Bullseye. But, I mean, Judd's still got Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is very destructive. Uh, that version is. And number 30 is Clarence. So, um, it should be seven left. And from the looks of it, yeah, that's right. Seven people left. Uh, four for... Riz and three for Judd and now two for Judd. And it is not looking good for Team Judd here. He, all he's got left is Mr. Freeze and Nappa. And could we see Team Riz dethrone the champ? They have got to get rid of Android 16. He has caused nothing but problems. So is Broly. Even though they've taken out their own teammates. They don't care. And Broly just eliminated another teammate. Bullseye. And that's a loss for Riz. So now three versus two. Five left. Four super heavyweights. Clarence is going to be dead. I don't care if he's number 30. And Android 16. Now it's a 2v2. Because Riz lost Android 16. And uh, so Riz has Broly and Clarence. And Judd has Nappa and Mr. Freeze. So still about even because Broly's been in here for a while. And Clarence is number 30 though. But he's definitely the weakest and gone now. Oh my goodness. If they take out Broly here. Broly's the only thing Riz has left. Just like that, his team has diminished. But he, Broly has been on a rampage. So I don't know if Broly can... If Broly wins, he's going to Mania. I can go ahead and tell you that. But um, number 30 is finished, and Nappa is beating Mr. Freeze. And We'll see what happens. This is getting intense. Definitely a good one. And Broly is just cleaning house, and if he gets, oh my goodness, he he has a shot at the champ here, and that is one of Judd's best members. So all Judd has left is Nappa. Oh my goodness, can Broly take this all the way and dethrone the champ? And it is not looking good for. Team Judd. It's not. Because Broly is on a rampage, but can Nappa take him? Two Dragon Ball Z characters in the final two. What a showdown. The 
He flips him, he gets him. He's so close. And this is a big deal because not only does he get a get to go to WrestleMania, I mean, they've dethroned Judd if they can get rid of Napa here. If Team Riz can get rid of Napa, they win this all and take out the champ. And that's crazy when you do that in the first round. Broly's just destroying Napa here. Look at this. But Broly has been in here for a while. That's his disadvantage. He's also taken out his own teammates. Which really hurt Riz's team. But uh, it's every man for himself here. So you're going to see that. And look at Broly. Oh my goodness. Can he take it here? He has the power to lift him and this could be it. If that doesn't work, he can use his feet. Uh, Napa's still not giving up. Napa is not giving up. He, the champion's team is on the line here. And Broly. He's got another opportunity to do this. And Napa again will not let him do it. He knows what's at stake here. It's Judd's team. It's all Judd has left is Napa. And a sp oh man, that weakens Broly. That that definitely weakened him, and that was a wide open spear. And can Team Judd does not capitalize either. So they're going back and forth, and they don't. I don't know what's going to happen because both teams have had the chance to take one another out, and they just have not had the power to do so. And Broly's going to get another chance here. And here we go. If he flips him, he gets him. Uh-oh. And Napa again, this is like the fourth time, escapes. And it's all, and one of the biggest reasons is because what position did Napa come in? And what position did, what number did... Broly come in. And that is a big factor here. It would have been over if they came in at the same time. But that is a big factor here. And uh-oh, Nappa's going to get a chance. And he's going to charge him. He's got him. My goodness, wow. Team Judd wins. And I really wanted to see Broly take it. Uh, but Team Judd is advancing to the Elite Eight. The champion is still alive. He's made it out. Um, from, you know, very close. He's come close a couple times of getting eliminated. His team can be beat. Napa, you're not going to WrestleMania. You can kiss your dreams goodbye. That, you know, you were like number 29 and he was 16. I hate to see when that happens. I hate when that happens. But Judd wins. I mean, Judd wins. He's going to the Elite Eight. He's going to see how far he can get. And I'm telling you, his team has come close a couple times now. Uh, but And this is one of the closest they've ever came, I think. Uh, especially with losing freeze like the way they did. Um, and Broly was on fire. Nobody could stop Broly, but he also hurt his own team. So, But yeah, Judd wins. Judd's going to advance to the Elite Eight. Good job by Riz, though. R Riz gave Judd a run for his money for sure uh, but Judd comes out on top victorious in the end I hope you all enjoyed it and we are officially at the Elite 8 so we got 8 teams left who's going to win it will Judd repeat I guess we'll find out on the next time on Dragon Ball Z <laughs>
That was a terrible joke. But anyway, see ya.